Welcome back to Lee's Paracord Techniques. Today we'll be making the four and six strand cord. You're going to need 10 foot of 550 paracord, but that's only if you're making a bracelet out of the four strand cord. If not, if you're here to make the six strand cord and the six strand cord only, you only need seven foot of 550 paracord. You don't have to have a jig in this video, but uh, for a good quality video, I use a jig. For the supplies, all you need is a pair of Hema stats or a fid, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So you're gonna find your two ends like so, and you wanna pinch them so that they stay even, and you're gonna find your center point. So we're gonna pull our hands through this until you have your center, like so. And we're going to bring it up through our buckle over here. So we're gonna go up through the, to the top. So I have to flatten it out some to get it up through there. And you just wanna get it. All right, we're gonna take it and we're gonna pull it down to our other buckle, to the edge, very edge, right here. And you don't wanna bring it over the top of it, because if you do, it's gonna mess up your bracelet and it's not gonna look real nice or uh, it's gonna mess up your core. So instead of bringing it over, we're just gonna get it right here to the edge. So let's go ahead and pull these other cords back down tighter. So you're gonna keep it right here on the edge. All right, so let's get back to this other side. And you're gonna take your right strand and leave it on the right side. And you're gonna take your left strand and bring it over to the left side. Make sure your center loop stays at the edge of your other side. So now we're gonna take our right strand and we're gonna bring it up through the center of our core. So just like so, and off to the right. So then you have a, something that looks kind of like half a callus hitch. And we're gonna take our right cord and bring it back up through the top again. So let's go ahead and get our end. All right, and you're gonna bring it back up through here just like this. So you're gonna pull it, but you don't wanna pull it all the way tight because you're gonna have this loop over here, just like so. And you're gonna have your center loop and you're gonna have a right loop. So you wanna take your uh, right cord that you just pulled through and you're gonna put it through your loop on the right. So if you get your end, you're gonna put it through here like so and pull it tight. And then you should have your first cow hitch, like so. All right, and now it's the same exact thing, just on the left side now. So you're gonna take your left cord and you're gonna bring it up through the center right here. So let's do that. And bring it all back off to the left. So you got your left strand, brought it up through the center and back off to the left and you got half cow hitch again, okay? And so last time we brought it up through the uh, center, but this time it's kind of filled in, so you might have to pull it over some to get it in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get your left uh, side, and we're going to bring it back up through our buckle. All right, so now remember not to pull it all the way tight, because remember, you're going to have your center loop, and you're going to have a loop on the left. So this loop on the left, you're going to take your cord, and you're going to put it through this loop on the left, just like so. All right, and you're going to pull it tight, and then boom, you have another callus hitch. So now... Let's go ahead and get back down to the bottom. Now we're down here at the bottom. So you want to take your loop and you just want to make sure it's still staying right there on the edge. And we're going to start with our right strand again. So find your end. And we're going to bring it through the top of our buckle like so. So we're going to put it right through the top. And you're going to go up through your center loop, up through here. So you're going to go through the top of your buckle and up through your loop over here. So up through here. And bring it back off to the right. Oh. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so then you should have something that looks something like this, and it looks kind of crazy, but all you did was go through the top of your buckle, and you brought it up through this center loop. So now it's off to the right, and now we're going to bring it up through our buckle over here. So we're going to go up through here. So go ahead and get your end, and up through here, like so. All right, and don't remember, don't pull it all the way tight, because you're going to have a loop in, on the right side, and you're going to have a loop in the center, which is your main core. So you're going to pull this loop on the right side, and you're going to get your end. Let's go ahead and get it and stick it through the loop on the right. So through here, you go ahead and tighten it up and you should have another cow hitch. All right. And then the same as that thing we did on this side, we're gonna do the left side. So go ahead and get your left cord. All right, sorry about that. Um, once you get your left cord, you're gonna bring it uh, through the top of it and up through your center loop over here. So through here and pull it back off to the left. Make sure it doesn't get it twisted up. We're gonna bring it through here. All right, so our I'm having some trouble here to get it through. You should have something that looks like this. It goes back off to the left. All right, and now we're gonna bring our left cord back uh, up through our uh, buckle. So it's gonna go back up through here. So like I said last time, you just wanna pull everything to the, uh, to the right side and put it up through your buckle, like so. Remember, don't pull it all the way tight because you're gonna have a loop on the left side. You're gonna have a loop in the center, which is this loop right here. So now we're gonna take our left strand and we're going to 
stick it through this loop over here. All right, you can go ahead and pull that tight. And there you go. Now, this is a four strand cord, but see us, and it's not very tight. You can go ahead and tighten that up, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and do the rest of the six strand core. So before we tighten it up, you're going to take these two and you're going to loosen them up the best you can. And if you have a fid, you can use a fid to do this if you got yours too tight already. Um, and you're going to take this and you're going to put it through here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a fid. All right, I got my fid hooked up. And if you don't have a fid, you can always use hemostats, which probably would have been easier for this. Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and pull it through here and pull it tight. So let's do this. And so now you should have three strands on your right side over here. That's three over here. And we only got two over here, so we're going to go ahead and take our fit off this side and stick it on our left strand over here. All right, so once you do that, we're going to take this and we're going to loosen it up. So, all right, and you're going to stick it on through the left side. So left strand through the left side over here and pull it through. You don't want to stick it over your other loops on this side. You want to make sure it stays on the left. All right, so now this is our six strand core. So now we, from here, we can go ahead and tighten it up. So I tightened it up once, but as you can see, it's still a little loose in some places, and these are still kind of floppy in the center. And it's just, I mean, it looks it looks okay, but um, usually when I make my four-strand or six-strand core, um, I'm, I'm tightening it up. So we're going to go ahead and tighten it up another time. So we're going to pull up on this center one on the right side like so, and you're going to pull up on your cowl hitch. Wait, this fit up there, this uh, spike out the way. So then you're going to pull up on your cowl hitch, and this is going to be a little looser when you're doing it the first time. Find your center strand, which actually I'm getting these tangled up. Try to keep these pretty straight. Um, but yeah, this is my center strand. So you're going to pull on that. And that's going to tighten up this one over here. And um, let's get on down here to the bottom. Take this one, and you're going to pull it up. This is uh, your outside strand. Pull on it. Pull up on your cow hitch, the loop. And then you're going to pull on your outside strand. Pull it tight. Pull this down. And this is actually getting a little off here. but um, And you're going to pull this through. And yeah, so you're pretty much just starting uh, with your center loop, like like the center loop right here. You're starting with the center, and you're working your way to the outside. And yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do. And um, you can tighten it up once, but if you want to do it twice, that's fine. Uh, but I usually do it twice, but yes, yeah, whatever you want. Remember, the most important things when tightening it up is to try not to get these crossed up. Uh, don't let them flip over. And um, just try to keep it, you know, pretty nice and neat and straight. So I went ahead and tightened it up two times. And that's it. That's how you make it. So we can go ahead and take it off here and I'll show you. So you pretty much should make the four strand core to make the six strand core. And the six strand core is easy because all you got to do is put it through one more loop. But yeah, that's it. That's how you make it. And uh, yeah, my next video that's coming out is going to be something that you're going to need the six strand core for. So as long as you're practicing and getting it down, you should be able to make this next bracelet. Later.